Outstanding morning everyone and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi sa lahat ng mga nag-antabay in this exclusive group no the top 5 chronic diseases and its nutritional options if you are looking for an options now we need to discuss first this top 5 chronic diseases which is heart disease hypertension stroke diabetes and cancer now according to report okay those people who have this kind of problem has high risk okay when uh, they are infected or they can be infected by this coronavirus okay now that is why we need to discuss this tough five chronic illnesses are you ready okay now first maybe you will ito mag uh, mag notice ka mag uh, wonder ka if i will say something that is okay um not related to any um definition by the universal definition of uh, a particular diseases so ang gagamitin ko lang ay yung madali mong maintindihan okay like for example if i say na yung diabetes is not a disease okay Maybe you will disagree, but first, so that maintindihan mo, first understand and agree first. Okay? This is the principle. Because um, high blood is not the disease. It's only the hypertension. Why hypertension? Hypertension is yung always nasa above uh, 140 over 100. Hypertension po yun. Yun po ang may sakit na. Yung high blood is just a measurement or a pressure na ito yung pressure ng blood pressure mo. Okay? But sometimes bumababa siya. Yung hypertension, hindi na siya bababa. Magstay na lang siya for a longer period of time ng 140 over 100. Sometimes umakyat pa siya if grabe na yung underlying condition niya. Now, in the diabetes case, uh, why I say hindi siya yung sakit? Hindi siya yung, it's not a disease. Kasi ganito yung understanding natin. Uh, pag mataas na yung sugar natin, sasabihin natin na, uy, may diabetes ako. Okay? Pero, ang diabetes is yung amount of the blood sugar or the sugar in the blood is always high. Hindi na siya bumababa kahit na ano pang ginagawa mo. Like for example, nag-take ka na ng mga medicine or medications. Nag-take ka ng like for example or nag-inject ka na. No, your medication is uh, ano na, insulin na e, or insulin dependent ka na. But still, manasa above average pa rin yung blood sugar. So yun po ang totoong diabetes na. Yung tumataas pa lang. No? Yung mataas pa lang, yung nasa 120 but pagka next week bumaba na siya. Okay? So yun po ang uh, hindi po yun diabetes. There is just a uh, na over ka lang for this day and umakyat siya kasi natural po na umakyat po yung sugar pataas. Okay? Natural po yun na akyat. Kasi in the digestive ratio after you eat, no? after your food leaves from your stomach, umaakyat na po yung sugar level natin. But after 30 minutes, after 2 hours, bumaba na siya. That is why careful yung mga taong merong insulin, merong mga gamot no iniinom niya in the wrong time, eh, kusa lang yung bababa yung sugar kasi naturally bababa po yun. Mag-decline uh, po yun naturally because of the kind of food and also because of the um, good circulatory system. Kasi ganito po yun ang totoong problem ng diabetes. Okay, are you ready? Now, if you have question, you can uh, continue leave a comment because we will continue also answering um, questions in this uh, video. Okay, even in doon as a comment. And uh, like I said, ito po ay hindi po... Um, um, this is our personal view and you check okay, what I am saying and this is our personal views just for educational purposes
Okay? So, ito po yung totoong diabetes na. Ito yung mayroong problema na when your blood, hindi na siya naturally bababa, mag-stay na lang siya. No? Ang problem niyan sa pag-stay ng dugo is, number one, is yung receptor. Like for example, yung uh, cells natin na doon po ang direction ng ating sugar. Like for example, the cells, siya yung magpa-process ng ating sugar para i-convert siya into energy. The problem, hindi siya umabot doon. Okay? And the sugars only stays in the blood. So what will happen in the blood is magkaroon siya ng problema. And according to several studies, Harvard Medical Education is above normal na sugar is toxic in the blood. Second, toxic siya doon sa nerve. Third is toxic siya doon sa kidney. Okay, why is that? Because if this is the blood, no, the blood is only 55% plasma, 45% of the blood elements. Now here comes another molecules into the blood added. So, mangyari magkaroon siya ng pagdikit. Uh, okay? Ma-add on siya doon sa space ng ating circulatory system. If that happens, ang mangyayari niyan, once dumaan siya sa mga capillaries, no? capillaries is parang ito yung artery, may capillaries dan Parang tulay siya. Na once magpasa siya doon, ang work kasi ng capillaries is to control the pressure coming from the heart and ipasa siya doon sa ating organs. So doon siya, like for example in the kidney, the kidney is uh, loaded with uh, capillaries. Na doon dadaan yung sugar, yung ating blood. If that is loaded with sugar, hindi na siya bumababa, hindi na siya na distribute. No, nandoon lang siya ikot kasama ng ating blood. Pag dumaan siya sa kidney, it will, okay? Damage that nerve, that capillaries. Siguro magkaroon ng uh, very slow and mag... Uh, kasi yung if the capillaries natin and the artery is elastic, okay? Then okay lang yun. But when the capillaries or the arteries, okay, is no longer elastic and in the, is not um, flexible, okay? Meaning that ma particular artery will, will have a problem. Ito po nagkaroon ng problema. So, hindi lang na diabetes na siya, but meron na siyang other problem. Okay? Other problem na siya. Okay? Kidney, may sira na yung also the artery. Kahit na in this kind of situation, kahit na puno yung sugar. Okay? Pero the body is feeling what? Weak the body can still feel hunger. Okay? Kasi hindi nga umabot doon sa matay. Kasi mahina na. No? And every hour nangangailangan ng pagkain yung ating katawan. Yung mata, yung skin natin. That is why for longer period of time na ganun yung situation, yung mga diabetic na tao is magkakaroon sila ng dried skin. Kasi hindi mahi nahihirapan yung pagdistribute ng pagkain, ng fluid sa ating ibang-ibang uh, parte ng katawan. Especially, okay, especially, take note this very carefully, especially doon sa area na nandoon yung barrier ng ating immune system. Like for example, the cell membrane or cell, uh, yung mucous membrane. The cell membrane or the mucous membrane is loaded with 95% fluid po yan. Now, if mahina po yung flow going to that area, nagkakaroon po ng problema yun. And uh, if you have a loaded blood or sugar, meaning your digestive system is already having problem by keep on releasing that, okay? Since that is sugar, it can be easily okay, distributed to the blood but hard to be distributed to the cells. That is why taking care of this kind of problem okay, today is very important, especially when there is a coronavirus coming in na madagdag pa siya doon okay, in the circulatory system, there will be an overload. No? In our analysis, there will be an overload of this kind because your cells 
ito po yung daan ng coronavirus for mutation. So, dadami po yun. No? And uh, marami ngayong mga pag-aaral na doon po nag-spike yung problem. Doon po parang nagpa-slow down lang siya ng ating blood circulatory system because of the reaction of the body. Kasi present siya nandoon and mag-react po yung katawan. Like I said, if yung sugar nag-stay lang siya doon sa blood, di ba ano yung nangyayari? Mag-create siya ng toxicity level. Tumataas yung toxicity. Okay? And ang effect noon doon sa environment, like the blood, the nerve, the lining, ito yung naging problema. Kaya ang babadi po nagre-react no? dahil sa effect, dahil sa impact, dahil sa presence ng mga molecules ng ganito. So, we need to take care today by ano yung solution natin? Kakain po tayo ng ha, green leafy vegetables, okay? variety of vegetables, and yung fruits na makakatulong sa pag-maintain and pag uh, limit ng pagkain natin sa mga refined food. Focus on 80% uh, food that is rich in the fiber and vegetables. Dapat kung sa plato yan, dapat marami po yung mga gulay. Okay? Pa para mabalance po siya. Para merong delay. Kung meron mang stuck doon na sugar sa ating katawan. So we will talk more about that uh, topic how to handle that kind of problem ma control pa ba yan ma manage pa ba yan now later okay in the next video we will be what we will be talking about the nutritional options okay the nutritional options na sa mga ganitong klasing problema ano ba yung focus natin sa nutrition kasi kakain lang ba tayo ng ay uh, go glow grow food or ano yung mga dapat i-focus natin na pagkain since na over na po tayo sa sugar okay ano na po yun uh, kakain ba tayo ng uh, yung mga pait lang ba okay so ano ba ang management diyan later uh, the next video pag-usapan po natin yan kaya take note invite your friends to attend in this uh, good topic the top five chronic diseases and the nutritional options. This is Dr. Darwin Sunyagela Hot, nutritional and lifestyle medicine specialist here in Cagayan de Oro City at Dr. Lahot Wellness. Alhamdulillah.